Welcome back to the wall. I have realized I have not done any stretching, so let's change that. Back on our normal wall today, uh, starting out with the green dot again, and the first thought is this wall is different. The ball doesn't bounce the same on this plywood wall uh, than it did on the concrete wall from the parking garage, which makes sense, different materials. I don't think either is particularly better, but it does force you to adjust, which I think is a good thing. I do feel a huge difference in my timing after one week on the wall. Practicing watching the ball has not been a waste of time. I think you can see it in my hits, but there's also a big change mentally. I have a lot more confidence and I just feel like I can do this. And that's a really cool feeling to have. Let's bust out a real ball now and see how the green dot translates. This feels almost sacrilegious to open a new can for the for the wall, but all right. Uh, probably stand back farther. Oh yeah, there's some bounce. Oh, that's interesting. Huh? Okay. Remember when I was saying at the parking garage that I could, I could, I was really focusing on where on the strings I was hitting. Forehand, I was. Uh, I was a little high coming through on the forehand. Backhand, I was opposite down here. I can't tell that as much with this ball. I wonder if it's uh, the deadness of the green dot that just holds the ball on the strings longer so you can really feel where that is. This one just pops off so fast, it's harder to tell. Interesting. But even though it's harder, harder to feel. I think having hit with the green dot, my mind is a little more in tune with where that contact is. Oh yeah. I was pretty sure it would, but it's nice to know that the green dot does translate to a real ball. Quite well, in fact. Oh no. I got my water. 220 shots. All right, here we go. Oh, nope, watch the ball. No shanks. Brand new ball. I did start to have some lapses in focus, but another sign of progress from this last week on the wall is that I didn't let those get me down. I like lost my consistency from the green dot. No, I can't, can't blame the green dot, man. Come on, find that rhythm. Here we go. Two, three, four. So I had generally been doing 10 shots per side, then alternating, but I hadn't actually been counting. I was just playing it by feel. But here I actually started to count the hits. And something about that increases your focus. This series of hits was the best rally I've had on the wall so far. I do think it's a culmination of the last eight days, but also there's something about counting your hits that is helping to narrow my focus and in a way gives each shot a little bit of a purpose. Three, come on. Four, five. As opposed to just hitting to hit. I mean, I have been pretty deliberate with my practice so far. So, okay, here's what I'll say. That first week, I think I needed to break things down to the fundamentals, watching the ball, staying calm, all that jazz. But now that I feel like I have a handle on those basics, now I just need to hit hundreds of balls to fully ingrain that so it's my default. And I was struggling to do that today, but now that I've started counting the hits, for some reason it's making this otherwise mundane task purposeful and goal-oriented. And for me, I like achieving goals, so in a weird way, this is now kind of fun. Four, come on, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, that was nice. I might be done after that. I think that's the best rally I hit. 300 shots.
I might be done, guys. I forgot water today. All right, let's see. Green dot, thumbs up. It really brings out the contact, strike zone. The ball's slower, so you don't have to move as much, but that sort of helps accentuate the contact, which I feel like contact is like what mentally makes us feel like we've hit well, I think, and does translate to a real ball. Definitely does. All right, that's it for today. I'm out. See you tomorrow.